Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm going to introduce you to a couple things. Uh, primarily, getting set up in Photoshop CC. So there's a couple things that need to be done in order for this to work, and I don't think I've gone over this recently, so I want to go over it again. In order to get the shortcuts and the, the panels to open up the way you see in the video, you're going to have to go to Shortcuts, which is an Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts and Menus. Uh, by the way, my daughter is right next to us. Uh, she's four months old and she is adorable. And uh, so she's going to be probably chiming in and telling me how I'm doing it wrong. All right, so you're going to click on Window and scroll down to the bottom uh, to where it starts with these different tool panels. And uh, we're going to go all the way to Swatches and Tool Presets. These are the two that are not uh, I think shortcutted <laughs> by default. Uh, so let's see. Okay, there we go. So in order to get them shortcutted, you're gonna tap on it, and you, then you're gonna tap the cor corresponding labeled button over there. So if I were to do this down here, if there were ones in timeline, you'd see I'd tap that and it'd fill it in. But we're not gonna do that. Okay, and then you do the same thing, tap on Tool Presets, hit Preset. By the way, Tool Presets I think is the most underused but most important shortcut that you can use in all of Photoshop. And uh, I'm sure that's not true, but it feels like the most exciting addition. Uh, if you guys don't have uh, brushes from Kyle, yeah. all right, so you can see here, I think I spent $16 and got uh, literally hundreds of amazing brushes. Uh, now I have, this is set up a little bit different because I have full screen mode and the artist pad running at the same time. Uh, my computer is a little bit more powerful than a standard Surface Pro 4, um, but if you have a Surface Book, this may work really well for you. And then I have uh, something called Let's go ahead and close this. I have something called um, transparent pen input selected on full screen mode. All right, so uh, I've been working on something called oh, that's right. I haven't. I'm not even in the right mode. Okay, so I'm working on something that I will introduce in another video called the ultra hotkey profile. So it's like the ultra profile and the advanced hotkey profile mixed. Uh, I was finding that there's a, a number of things that I just wanted to be able to do that weren't, they weren't uh, fluid. And so this is kind of the best of both worlds. It's not quite as good as the advanced hotkey for just hotkeys, but it's going to let you do 90%. And then being able to use full screen mode, pen, and hotkey, uh, the advan the artist pad, all at the same time, is really cool. It's where we're going. Uh, I'm going to tentatively name it the Studio Mode, kind of after the Surface Studio. Uh, the Surface Studio has such a massive screen, has such a massive screen that it's difficult to get anything done without using your entire arm in order to reach across to different menus. Um, this is my baby, by the way. Hi, you wanna say hi? <laughs> All right, there's a little bit for uh, anyone who likes babies, which would include me. All right, so. And she is wiggly, and like I said, she's wonderful. Uh, for anyone who's used the Surface Studio, you know that the thing is massive, and that's not a bad thing, but it means that your arm is going to be reaching, uh, the full extent of your arm is going to be reaching to hit that file button. So here, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to just go up there and tap it, and use it just like the whole screen was a trackpad, and obviously... 
you guys have used Tablet Pro uh, in the past, you'll know that that is something that I really uh, think is important. Uh, then also being able to draw on the screen. Now one, one thing that we're trying to figure out how to do, and I don't know how to do this, so I may need help. The, the new touchpad, uh, let's see, I think I have to do this. The new touchpad from Microsoft, let's turn this off. Uh, it's really slow right here, but um, it's better than our touch overlay. It's, it's smoother, the cursor doesn't jitter, and there's no, uh, occasionally there's some lag, and a serious lag with the full screen mode, especially if you're using the pen and everything, and I believe that there is a way to make this seamlessly interact. So we would, we would try and get in touch with Microsoft. If anyone has friends at Microsoft, yeah. they can get me in touch with the Windows Inc. team or anyone who would be able to get me some information on the API or the code being used for, for the uh, trackpad. We can harness that. We can make this a lot smoother and perform exactly the way that we want. That's my goal. The upcoming studio mode. So, um, so that's the goal. Anyway, Photoshop CC, in order to get that set up, um, did I address everything? Let's see, edit, keyboard shortcuts. I think all of these, I and mean, basically all of them are in application menus and window, and they're just down here. And so swatch color. If you don't have color set up to work the same way, you're gonna do exactly the same thing. Just go up here to color, tap that button. Um, I did change this recently so that this is uh, control alt Z, I believe that's correct. I think everything else is is doesn't require any modification. I think it's just those two right there. Uh, again, the new preset allows for quick swapping between uh, all the different sizes, uh, s which is small, medium, and large. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be questions. I'm forgetting things for sure. Um, either way. This is a great improvement that I'm I'm really, really excited about, and I, I think that a lot of you guys are going to freak out a little bit like I'm doing at the idea of being able to do this. Oh, the two presets that I'm talking about, the profile and the preset, uh, this is now called Photoshop CC. This has been in development for a long time, trying to figure out what stuff I want in here. And uh, the profile that I'm using right now is called Ultra Hotkey. Both of those are in the community assets. Um, which I'll uh, provide a link to. If you guys don't have that, just send me an email. Uh, and also the Photoshop CC is in uh, community assets, um, presets, yeah. art programs, justice Photoshop or Photoshop justice. And it's again, it's called Photoshop CC. All right, you guys, I hope that you like the content. And uh, until next time, stay creative. <laughs>